day one of the Vans World Cup of Surfing here at Sunset Beach, and we're into heat number five with Dimitri Wu, Hobson Santos, Cole Smith, and Elijah Gate. And in the water, Kaipo, what do we have? Up and riding in the yellow jersey, this is young Elijah Gates from local boy from Kapole on the west side. He just pokes the nose on that first in uh, the WRV Outer Banks Pro there in Nags Head, North Carolina. And the goofy foot up and riding, this is Dimitri. Nice little cut back and just gonna hope for this wave to farm up. We've seen that backhand of Dimitri flare up on the first jewel of the Triple Crown over at Haliva. St. Bart's, beautiful part of the Caribbean. I've actually been there on a surf trip and there's uh, there's good waves down there if you're lucky enough to get some swell in the window. Um, so a unique place to represent as a professional surfer, but you can see the skills from Dimitri. Sunday, I mean, it's it, we're, it's far off from there. We got today to deal with it. We got Elijah Gates up and riding down the beach angle. You can see a beautiful off the top from Gates. Streaming through a cutback. And this is where kind of that amateur and pro junior series, I think, is going to pay off in these conditions for a young man like Elijah. Right behind him, Dimitri. And Dimitri has to kick out the back, but well-served way for Elijah Gates. And take another look at this. On his backhand. Waiting for that wave to stand up. And, it, you know, it did, but, it, you know, that's the other funny thing uh, about Sunset Point is the, the sections kind of pop up really quick. You have to have crazy reflexes and, and respond quickly because as fast as these sections stand up, Kaipo, they disappear. So you need to respond on a, you know, half a second notice. And uh, Elijah Gates did that. And we eliminate the highs and lows and we average those other three scores and that's how we get each score 5.17 just dropped for Elijah Gates puts him in first place at 16 minutes and 10 seconds counting down. What are the goals for the end of the season and what about next year? Um, yeah I've kind of had a pretty bad year the waves have been pretty bad and I kind of haven't done as well as I would have liked. Relief after this year so uh, yeah just make some heats and see what happens. Well, good job you got through that round one he's into uh, round two back to you guys. Thank you Peter congratulations Michael as we see Koa Smith on the screen and surfing through, right behind him is our heat leader, Elijah Gates. And the youngster's now kind of feeling some momentum as to tic-tac through that flat section, loads up for a closing maneuver, smacks that lip, and he wants more. Another little foam climb for Elijah before kicking out. The goofy foot. Dimitri way behind the section, and he's going to have to jump off. Well, Elijah Gates, not surprisingly, hooking up with a solid wave. Uh, so for someone like Elijah Gates, he's been surfing Sunset Point, you know, since, you know, he could walk. And he's going to know all the little nuances, where to sit, where to find those waves that take shape. Here we go with Hobson Santos, Brazilian goofy foot, hooking it off the top. Hobson continuing to stay busy. This wave gets a little bit shouldery for Santos, but he just keeps that rail engaged and keeps weaving back and forth. Surfed really well. Well, strong guy, and I think that's going to bode well for all those these types of athletes right here. You can see, you know, not your typical build for a professional surfer, especially, uh, you know, throughout the 90s and early 2000s. Your typical build was, you know, 5'9", maybe 150 pounds. But this is a, a bigger guy, which I think bodes well. For last score of Hobson Santos, 2.43, I believe, came through. And Dimitri, ooh. Nice. Rhythm, tempo, and slashing on the backhand and gets a quick one two to the lip and even a little foam climb bonus at the end. So, um, so that someone on the beach can say, relay the information, the scores that have dropped, and the caddy in the water can relay the, those numbers to their surfers. So, uh, if you're just relying on the loudspeaker alone, we're about four or five hundred yards away from, the, from these speakers. So, the surfers have a really hard time getting that information. Um, and it's crucial, Kaipo, because a lot of times you're like, hey, wait, I need a 3.8 or did he say 6.8? You know, what do I need to get second place right now? Um, and it kind of throws you off your game. It, these surfers download the WSL app, get a waterproof case, get out there, so you can follow all the information. As we see our heat leader, Elijah Gates, just staying busy, being patient here. You're going to have to hop through this section. The wave's going to steepen up on the inside. Tags it one time. Beautiful arc for turn number two. So. Nice little combination. Was that better than his 3.67? Did he build on his lead? What do you think, Ross? The conditions are challenging. Here's the one good section for Elijah. Pretty good carve there. We can see it hit that deep spot. So now he has to tap that board to get speed. Now he's back in, pops up, and another little snap. But 
Uh, that second snap, a little light-footed for me. You know, I, I would have loved to have seen him uh, put a little more grunt into that second turn, but, you know, those sections, those sections sit down pretty flat. Here we go with Koa Smith and a flat beginning to his wave, but the young man from Kauai is going to stick with it as it steepens up on the inside. He's got a lethal backhand, as illustrated right there, a little bit of a fin drift. And just stays busy right behind him. Another goofy footer, Dimitri kicks out. Yeah, he wasn't too happy, was he? And uh, out the back. Dimitri having to slow carve off the start of this wave. Comes through through this inside section. A nice little stab, throwing some spray. Actually, he had to skip that second opportunity. So a little bit of off tempo for Dimitri. And it's interesting that he's going to choose to stick with this all the way through the inside. He must be seeing some type of opportunity, but it looks to me that he just oh, man. spent a long time on his board for even a longer paddle rocks. Yeah, and he is in the hot seat right now, but here we go. Elijah Gates got pushed down to second place because Cole Smith, Smith's last wave of 3.57 was enough to push him into first, so it's Cole Smith at first. He needs a 6.41. Let's take a look at this wave for Cole Smith. Well, Koa trying to find a, a better backup score right now, just a 3.5, and that's a pretty solid little off the lip right there and a nice gouge, so a mix of maneuvers. And did well to keep that flow, Kaipo, through that third turn. A tricky little whitewash ball, and he you know, he floated it over it nicely, so Koa's going to up the ante for sure. He's going to get rid of the 3.5. There's that dreaded deep water spot for Elijah. I'm liking the throwback airbrush from Koa, too, a little tribute to Tom Kern. And, you know, that airbrush, it makes the board really stand out. And on the paddle, this is Elijah Gates. Good-looking wave. It stands up for him, and he gets a snap in there. Got to come around this corner again and bank it one more time. Missed times that keeps to his feet, however, to complete the ride. Looks for one more opportunity, but that just set him off pace, and that was all she wrote for Elijah Gates right behind him. Of course, Smith just sniffing at that one, and he kicks out. Well, he got, uh, you can see the priority sitting with the Brazilian Hobson, and here we go, Dimitri. Dimitri, nice hook off the top, unfortunately too deep, and that wave closes out, so just a one turn wave, and he's looking for 4.08. It'd be really hard to get that on, on one turn out here, and this was like, just a spectacular maneuver. So 5.03 there, uh, got himself kind of solid in second place. And we talked about it earlier, we saw Samuel Pupo go for a big air on the left. Elijah Gates and Koa Smith's gonna be Moving on to round number two, and we're going to be back up with heat number five when you tune back after this short commercial break. <laughs>